like I did. It's in the past. We yeah. got we got through the hand warmers. We getting down. Now this is a Fox Mirror, so Fox anything Mirror. Excuse, can excuse happen. Me, excuse me, Fox Mirror. You're on the wrong side of the venue. This is a Fox I Ditto. See, I see LCDs over there, man. There's FGC here. This is a Fox Ditto. All right, it's right. Ditto's, bro. We got it. Fine. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm call it Ditto's just for you, bro. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I, I have to go through it myself when I go commentate other stuff, and I'm like, we have a, like, <laughs> some, di some mir no, we got All right, we're on the way here. Get Fuzziness, me. I believe, is the purple fox, because I think Bay has been the red fox all day. So, let's see what goes on. I think Bay's taking on some early damage. Fuzziness trying to catch him, but th that wall of neutral airs is just not having it. He's like, bro, you're just going to keep running into these bionic legs. <laughs> I'm not having it. And this is one of the most effective ways to play foxes. You just hang out on the platform and you yeah. just stick your feet out. And like, if they're down, they have to come to you. Yeah, it's really hard to contest either way. Good dash, uh, dash attack to punish the down air. Coming in with another one, can't really follow. Very dominating Didi stock grab. so far. Yo, three hits. He really doesn't get three hits at that percent, but not a lot of people actually mash out of grabs. Yeah. I still find that odd. Uh, people, people just expect that you're gonna throw them quickly to try to catch their DI off. Uh huh. But uh. It seems like Isengo Bay, from watching his matches with Fiction, it seems like he's okay with guessing your DI preemptively, just letting you DI. He's perfectly fine with that. Like He's like, if you're going to control your character and make yourself go left, I'm perfectly okay with that. I'm going to follow up properly anyway. So he doesn't mind tacking on that extra damage to make sure he can get the kill. I was going to go big, letting him out of the corner, but keeping him in check with the back air. Neutral air on that one, falling back. Good neutral air. I wish he was a little bit earlier so he could have kept him in check. Doesn't matter too much. Fuzzy trying to return this on his own. Can't really get anything. And we're back in neutral. I think Obey seems to be like kind of smothering him. Ooh. Technical execution there. Uh, error there with the forward air falling. I'm sure he didn't want that, but he just comes right back and just starts beating on Fuzzy some more. Again, a little slow with the back air, but that's okay. He's keeping him on the left. Can he get a punish? Nope, too slow. That's okay. It's good looks. He's keeping the pressure, keeping the momentum. Playing. Ooh, hood. <laughs> just glocked when he was down. That's Is so that rude. a buck, buck? What was that? <laughs> he hope he just got him. <laughs> oh, man. 3 2, Isaac go back. Doing so good. Fuzzy's, yeah, Fuzzy's not out of this right now. Not no, by definitely any not. Man. And one bleep bleep and it's, it's right back to even game. Hey, I think that Aizen might actually be the blue fox. Uh, we might I, have, we it's might have it's so confusing when it's a fox mirror. Like, I, and they don't we'll have, have tags. To, we'll have to check after the match. But uh, I guess we'll just call them Red Fox and Blue Fox for now. Yeah, we can do that. Red Fox with a three-stock lead. Red, Red Fox is strong. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm assuming because Aizen beat it earlier that he would be the one. Uh, that, that's why I just guessed that he was the red one. He's also been playing red all day. so. And I was kind of thinking because Fuzzy was throwing a lot of our uh, Blue Fox was throwing a lot of downers. I was thinking that was Fuzzy, but we'll get it worked out. Yeah, we'll check in a second. Red Fox with a nice jab reset. Keeping up the tech chase. Working from the platform. Good looks. Mm. Nice back air. Keeping the space. Blue Fox is still not out of it, but he has to gain some control. He's just getting kicked around. Oh, messes up the ledge jump there. Nice angle. Yeah, I'm okay with falling back too, because you uh, two a one stock lead, got him in death percent. Just keep control of the state. That's all we need. Center stage looks so pretty right now. Gets grabbed out of his jab. Tries to go for the J-Man shine there. Doesn't get it. Nice up smash feet. So, uh, yeah, we were wrong. So we were mistaken that whole time. Fuzzy was the one smothering Aizen. So Fuzzy took game one there. Convincingly, might I add. I'm blaming you. You called it. <laughs> hey, man, he was red and Fiction was purple. So I was like, he's still red. That guess, was my guess. Guess what? It's in the past. It's, it's done. Past. We got it fixed. <laughs> we got the we, correction now. We can rebuild it. Here we go into game two. Dreamland? Dreamland. Should have noticed because Puerto Rico was awfully quiet. In that back. Wow, that's <laughs> rude. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't. They couldn't support their boy. He was getting smothered. But he has another, he has another chance of life right here. Dreamland is a huge stage. Fox players love it because they can just run around. It's impossible to catch them. They're so fast. But can you really say that when you're going against another fox? I mean, it's just a battle of patience. Who wants to wait it out better? Uh, when it's at this stage of a tournament, your life is on the line. You know, sometimes you don't have the patience to just stand there and wait for them. You just go in and you make those mis crucial mistakes. Ooh. Ooh. Nice angle by Fuzzy to, uh, to correct the mistaken back air. 
and uh, take the first stock off Eisen. Heavy that pressure. pressure. Yeah, on the back of his shield, so he couldn't really do anything. Only thing he really had in that position was a back air, which he didn't want to go to. Back to the platform runaround. Good shine by Fuzzy to back him up. They seem to just be going tip for tat right now with a, a little counterattack in between each poke. And a couple of dodges, why not? Seeing each other eye to eye, if you will. Uh, <laughs> Aizen is doing a good job of keeping his aerials out right now. Uh -huh. like, he, Fuzzy's not smothering him nearly as much as he was last game. But he's still ahead of stock. I don't, I don't blame him for not doing it at that position. He didn't want to get it turned around by the edge. He's already at 106. Any yep. strong hit could have sent him really off any other side. So, like, Look at that. Even a wake-up attack made him retreat to the ledge. He's trying to juke his way back to the middle. At least goes for uh, positioning. That's good. Yeah, and I'm okay with Fuzzy slow playing this right now. Nice until they got back again. Yep. So even game again. I don't know. With as slow as this has been going, I, I can't really call this, this even. Is, 63 these is are the really scary ones because any like small tap into a shine could easily turn the game. Like Usually when there's just one smothering the other, it's a lot easier to to discern what's going on. But these guys are just... They're, they're, it's, it's a big stage right now here at Apex 2014. And they're... they're Ooh, excuse me? Ooh. The trade messes up his edge guard, but he follows up with an up smash, goes for the combo, gets it. Oh, nice counter attack back air by Fuzzy. Nice, hey, nice combo. Nice dash attack back air to close that out. And you know, that is something I've kind of noticed about uh, Aizen's recovery, even though it's kind of after the fact. He is not afraid to just up B or illusion at somebody. And he's actually gotten some crazy conversions off of that. Yeah, Fox's so, recovery moves are awfully good at converting into combos. So if your opponent is um, not waiting for it, Fuzzy with another falling back air, but he, Aizen's not okay. able to capitalize on that. Gets a back air. It looked like he really wanted to up smash the upward angle, so he wasn't ready to take care of the straight angle. Fuzzy again getting his footing, working with the backer, trying to get a little more real estate again. He's not really pushing the issue when he's close to the ledge. He just wants some space from Aizen. He, he just doesn't, it's obvious that he doesn't want to die, but he just doesn't want to go out to any stray hits like that. Aizen good has done a really good job of uh, catching Fuzzy's dash dance with the dash attacks. Yeah. Like, that's what that's what's led to both his kills so far this game. If he can get some stage control right now, mm. oh. He can't get it. Tries to burn him that time, doesn't get it. Fuzzy was ready. Just like that, he needs. he's on his last stock, potentially, of the tournament. Let's see what he can do. If you'd have asked me about seven minutes ago if we would be looking in this position with uh, Aizen down on his last stock against Fuzzy, I... I wouldn't say it'd be too old, but it might happen. Fuzzy with some great patience, but falls right into an air. Got Coffer going too deep with an air. Fuzzy falling back. Got grabbed out of a full jump. Ooh. I'm really impressed with Fuzzy's uh, like adaptation to this very patient, much more calm game as compared to the last game where he was just kind of running eyes and over. Yeah. Like so Ooh. just like that, Fox mirrors is like. You just can't sleep on the other fox. One lucky shine and... Ooh! Jab reset. Mm. Ooh, okay. And he, he's looking for it. He's looking for it. He just he was looking for the cancel. Yeah, it looks like he was looking for a really big combo there instead of just taking the back air. How's he getting back to the stage? This is kind of important right now. Oh, oh what an amazing the angle. High 22 and a half. Good look. Oh, no man. No DI on that neutral air. Now he can't make it back. No, the, uh. <laughs> Such an unfortunate finish there for Eisen.